Hello friends, my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In past couple of video tutorial, we had talked about the add the rate path variable annotation in Spring MVC. So in this video tutorial, I'm continuing with the same annotations and uh, we'll explore some more concept about uh, add the rate path variable annotation. Now, uh, uh, let me show you the previous project which I had created, which are related to, which are, is, are related to the path variable so i will talk about the very first project which uh, uh, we had created for the path at the rate path variable annotation so here is the project and uh, here is my web.xml there i have registered dispatcher sublet uh, which works as a spring mbc controller and i have a spring configuration file uh, there i have registered registered this package for auto scanning so most of the pa I mean controller, all controller I'm going to create inside the, this package so that whatever annotations we are using inside the controller that will be scanned by the spring. And now we have configured internal resource view resolver and we are given a prefix and suffix so that uh, when our controller returns the logical name of view, then with the help of internal resource view resolver, dispatcher subject resolves the, I mean, physical file uh, of the views right and finally we have a controller and in this controller uh, i have used uh, a path parameter right username and age right and these two path parameters just i am retrieving and uh, just making a long string by concatenating the information and the information i'm sending to the uh, welcome page dot jsp page right so this is a logical view name you say you don't need to specify the dot jsp extension extension will be resolved by the uh, internal resource view resolver already these, these things we have mentioned so only you need to specify the logical view name and after removing the extension whatever names comes out that is the your logical view name so welcome page is the logical view name and this is the model object there i am setting this long string and basically this model i'm using on this welcome page dot jsp to retrieve this message from the controller right so pretty straightforward now i want to do some refactoring in this code right uh, so to do so what i'm going to do I'm, do I'm going to create a new project so let's go for the dynamic web project and here i'm going to specify the project name path uh, variable Uh, annotation uh, path variable with map annotation wave map now let's click on the next next and finally click on the finish and uh, most of the files i'm going to not most of the but all files i'm going to copy from the this project right which i have explained to you just right now so inside the wave inf i'm going to compute copy all content and i'll dump into this wave inf so let's say yes all now uh, i'm going to copy that these jars dependent jars which is required to develop this based application so here let's okay already that is copied now i'm going to copy this controller name as well with package so let's copy in the src folder and finally we have a index.jsp inside the web inf let's copy that file also so that i'm going to copy inside the web inf right pretty enough now uh, uh, project name i'm going to copy and uh, index.jsp here i have given the complete url but you not really to specify the complete url uh, suppose you uh, import this project on your computer and your tomcat port number is something else then this is gonna break so don't specify the complete path with http protocol machine name as well as uh, port number of uh, port number of tomcats so no need to specify only you need to specify the project name right this is a relative path right and this is gonna work 
so uh, you can see this is the project name slash this is the url right so if you look in the controller then on top this is this is the url so users then user slash you need to specify this to path parameter right and along with that uh, i'm also taking one query parameter right so you can take mix of both or if you if you have a requirement to only accept the path parameter then you can go for the only path parameter then you don't need to specify this one but i have mixed both right so that's the thing these two parameter i'm passing as a path parameter and this is i'm passing as a query parameter right so to collect these two value you are using at the rate path variable notations and collecting this variable query parameter we are using at the rate request form right request form and let me run this project first of all so let me so this is a project uh, okay sorry this is the project just we have created so let me run this project so once run, uh, once we run this project then index.jsp will be displayed first of all once i run this project then you can see the uh, this uh, hyperlink so that is coming from here right this hyperlink name i have given uh, test path variable once you click on this and basically in back end we are going to hit this url right and our controller method will be invoked right this controller method will be invoked so let's click over here and the here we got the output right so here what i had discussed i want to do some refactoring in this code so here you can see if you have a more than uh, one path variable uh, up to two is fine but if you have more than uh, many path variables basically then your uh, method signature is gonna increase right this is still go this will go long and long so that's the problem right so you have another option to uh, reduce this method signature so instead of collecting the every path variable individually what you can do you can use uh, a map so so here i'm going to specify at the right path variable and here you can use map and map a uh, key would be the string and value value also you can take as a string and here this map name you can give anything whatever you want so i'm going to specify path paths map and let's import this map this is a simple map which belongs to the uh, java .util package right uh, and similar concept you can apply for the add the data request param also if you have a more than one request param then instead of collecting every individual parameter you can take as a map right so similarly you can work with that the request map but at the request parameter i have only one so that's why i'm not going to take a map right now how to collect this parameter these two parameters that's the question now what i can do now i can collect these parameters from the map so you have a map and map is having a method is called get and there you will have to specify the key and you'll get the corresponding value now this key i'm going to specify here right this is the path right? so now error has gone now again we need to collect the age at will that age so int age and here again you will have to apply integer dot parse string right and it takes the string as an argument so here you can collect the age right so let's pass let's cut extract this age from the map and key would be the age right so if you if you if you collect i mean every individual path parameter then the spring framework automatically converts right a string into appropriate data type but if you put everything in the map and you retrieve i mean path parameter from the map using key then you need to type cast these things or you need to uh, convert into the appropriate data type so these things you will have to keep in mind right so after doing so after doing this modification let's run this project and see what happens
Now if I click over here, let's see, this error is coming in. intentionally. I wanted to show you this error. The reason is that uh, when you use map, instead of uh, collecting every path variable individually, then in your configuration file, you will have to uh, use this tag to make it work. So make sure that you have a MBC namespace on the top of the uh, XML doc type. Make sure that you have a MBC uh, namespace. So here, if you look into the XML doc type, so this is pointing to the MVC XSD, and uh, uh, we have a uh, namespace uh, MBC over here, right? So I can use MBC over here, MBC namespace, and you can see, sorry, MBC column. I can see a lot of tags are there, right? So around five tags are there. So I'm going to use annotation driven this. In this way, just you are enabling this functionality, right? And uh, after doing this modification, uh, let's run this project again and see what happens. And this should work perfectly fine now. Now, if I click over here, then this is working perfectly fine. So that's all I have in this video tutorial. Once again, I would like to repeat, if you have a more than one request param, then similar concept you can use for the request from as well. If you are submitting some HTML form with uh, HTTP get request uh, and you have a many input parameters, then uh, instead of using, instead of collecting every request parameter individually, you can put into the map like this and from map you can extract every attributes by specifying its key and what would be the key in the case of uh, when you submit html form uh, when you create a html form then you specify the name over here right suppose you have a text parameter then you write input type equal to text and name equal to something so that would be the key over here in that case right so i hope you enjoyed learning this video uh, this code I am going to upload on the GitHub and GitHub location I will specify in the video description itself. Uh, if you have any questions and or queries then please uh, do post that below to the video. I will try to answer those queries as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video.